Hi hey everyone, today's the end of April, April 28th, and I have some salvia evolution to plant. These didn't do very good this year. I had some trouble with them, but they came out of it the way it looks. They look kind of tiny. But I think once I get them transplanted, they're going to be a lot better. And I'm excited to get some out of, get, get them out of here so they'll do better. Why don't I direct sow right into these six packs? Well, sometimes the seeds are tiny and it's just a pain to do. So it's a lot easier for me to take and scatter the seeds with sand on here. And then I, I know when I transplant them, I know I can put one per cell. If I take and scatter them with a spoon and just scatter them, I'm going to get a few more seeds than I want probably. So I like to do it this way. Uh, it's just easier for me. And this is the way I've always grown. There is some things now that I am doing just directly into the cells, and it does help me save time. Basically, I'm just filling up my six packs here and this is a peat perlite and I think there's a little cocoa core in it in this uh, mix which uh, I kind of like. This is wetted down already put a little bit of moisture in the soil and it's doing good that way. What I do then now is just pick out the bigger ones. I'm getting plenty of the roots so there shouldn't be an issue at all because look at that. So as you watch along, this Evolution Salvia is so pretty in the garden. The flowers are a purple flower, a spiky flower, and they have a grape fragrance. You've probably seen some on my videos. I do like to grow these every year just because they attract a lot of beneficials. Um, I, I see a lot of bees and wasp and just a number of insects that come to the garden and I just love that. Some of them are really crowded so a lot of times what I do is just pull a bunch out at a time and separate them that way. Right here I'm just trying to grab a few. You know if they're really small I like to just put a few together. You know what? You can make your own rules when you're doing your own planting. You don't have anybody to tell you how to plant. Right? But I'd like to show you, just give you a guideline of what you can do and what, what does work for me. And I've been growing many, many, many years. But these um, are a little behind. But I tell you, once I get them out in the garden, they seem to catch up every year. It just doesn't seem to be an issue at all. So don't be afraid to, if you feel like you're too late to start some seeds, well, you might not be. You know, you might not be. So let's get this tray done. We'll kind of speed up the video here. flat and watered it in added a little soil over top shook it and watered it in and then this is what I got left that I will probably either transplant here later or I will take it out in the greenhouse when the nights get a little bit warmer and do it out there so I got this will be a good start in the garden and as you know this is a full sun plant beautiful plant and I will have how you can get those seeds down in the description area. Duh, they're beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And I've had them on my videos. So I watered them in with compost tea. Compost tea is easy to make on how I, the way I do it. I just put a cup or two of soil into an old sock. And then I, I put that sock, I submerge it in a five gallon bucket. Okay. Of water. And this is what it makes really nice so I'm happy with it I do not do any aerating or anything I don't get too technical I think this works and they're still getting they're still getting fed this way 
update on the evolution salvia now they're a little slower growing but you know what they grow really fast once I get them outdoors they're doing good they're nice and green I don't see any issues here and I did plant the rest of them in a little bigger pot so they're all transplanted now just waiting to go outside in the greenhouse and then outside in the ground May 18th update on the evolution salvia it's doing great it's it's not a real fast grower, but it's coming along pretty nicely indoors. These will be going out in the greenhouse probably this week to harden off so I can get these planted. So stay tuned as we plant these in the garden. So we got this evolution salvia planted in a couple areas and you kind of get the idea um, they like sun full sun they can handle heat and so they're in areas where they're going to get plenty of that so you see me plant the evolution salvia I still got a few more to do and I'll just sporadically be putting them out in the garden because they're so pretty just everywhere but they do look the best I feel in mass plantings I just love them that way so these I do have to put in the ground yet and I did put some in pots I got one here in pots with some moss roses and we'll see how that goes so during the summer months I will have an update on these flowers you'll be able to see them growing in the garden how they're doing uh, evolution salvia likes the heat they like the Sun thrive in those conditions but you will also notice that you got to make sure if it's really hot out you got to water some of your plants I've noticed with these I've had to do that and, and with all plants really they if we get a lot of heat like we're getting this week then they're going to need a lot of moisture too so we'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one bye bye hey pig So I had some plants sitting around so I put the evolution salvia in the middle with the moss roses on the edges that should be really pretty once they get grown up and mature here's another pot so the moss roses are really setting in looking nice and the evolution salvia is too can't wait to show you what these look like once they start blooming here's what I got left of the evolution salvia plan to get them planted this week I kind of waited because we've been really hot in the 90s here the other ones I planted were hurting pretty bad
But these really look good and I'm thinking they're going to be able to handle the weather a little better.